I'm sure of it. Nevan! Don't! Please! child is alert, and I see no wounds, and yet <sighs> she grows weaker. My spells can do no more. What she needs is a change of clothes and a warm bed. We must hurry back. Not now! Matsya, take the child. It appears we've made enough noise to be heard for miles around. More will be upon us ere long. We make our stand here. Matya, can you take her back to the village? But... the child? All... all by myself? You can't be serious! The beasts will follow you home unless we stop them here. And so we shall. Be strong, Matsya. Her life is in your hands. Right. I... I can do it. I know you can. We'll keep them busy, Matsya. Go! Quickly!
Steady. You know the way. No. No. Not you too. Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. To live is to suffer. To drink of calamity. It is a perilous path. Death lurks in the dark. No! I'm not afraid! I'm not afraid! Do not avert your eyes. See! See your life for what it is! See how the hardships make you strong! Every doubt reforged! Every agony. <sighs> Divinity? Nay, but one who would deliver thee just the same. Please, you must save the child. She is all that remains of Mevan and Grasef. Please. Well, well. Seems the babe's taken a liking to you. Despite our friends as we flew in, they appeared to be holding their own against the Horde. Right. That's the last of them. We should hurry and find Matsya. What, like divine aid? A fine battle it must have been. Shame I missed it. Estinian, it was you who came to Matsya's aid. I was only along for the ride. Vritra was the one who saw the boy was in need. The two are headed back to the village. Where the worm will honor Ahiwan's wishes and finally reveal himself to his people. Perhaps so. Will you go and join them? There's something I need to do first. Mervyn gave her life so that her child might live. She deserves better than to be left to drift alone. She deserves to be laid to rest beside her husband, at least. Will you help me? <laughs> <laughs> 